I all in this video, let's see how to hide our ReactJS code from the browser and why and how the Rea browser is showing our ReactJS code also we will be discussing. I will show you two methods how to hide the ReactJS code from the browser. So let's get started. So this is a normal project react project which was built on top of create react app. Okay, once I'm built it and I'm running this in the development mode. So when you run this in the development mode, what happens? So let me refresh this. So you're running your application in the development mode. Here you can see I'm going to the application. It will be running in the localhost 3000 and uh, inspecting, I'm inspecting this application and I'm opening this developer tools. In the source tab, you can see entire code. So you can see entire code SRC what is loaded and all the components one after the other they have loaded like this. Clear? Not only here, you'll be having one more static folder here. So where in this static folder dot JS folder here, you'll be having some bundle file. Okay. So now what why in the development environment, why we got this is entire React JS code is visible in the de development environment. The reason behind this is we need to have this in the development mode because if any error was occurred, okay, browser needs to show that error and you need to understand that error at what line, what component, the error uh, tra uh, track. We need to track the error. So that is the reason the browser is showing us all the components. It is loading the components in the browser. Clear? That is the reason in the development mode, we can see all the code. That is fine. That is not a problem. But this code should not be exposed in the production environments. That is not good. So if you build this application, okay, and if you deploy this code in any of the cloud environments like uh, Netify or uh, Firebase, GitHub pages, anywhere, if you want to deploy this, your code in the production environment, no one should see your components like this. So this is not good to see your components and this is not the right way to expose our components to external persons, okay? And in the production environments, there is will not sit and will debug the things, right? So that is the reason we are not going to show our components code and logic and our business things to external persons. So that is the reason whenever you are deploying your code to the production environments, you need to hide your code from the browser. That is the main theme. Why we need to hide our code? So that is the main thing. To not expose our components and the business lo logic to others, we need to hide it. Okay, now let's see how to hide it. So you seen that, so this is how our components will be shown in the browser, in the development mode. So now let's see how to hide it. So I have taken here, I, I came to this one. So now what I'm doing is I'm doing npm run build. So this is the command in general we'll be using so now uh, you'll be getting a folder called build folder. Yes, we got it. If you run this npm run build command, what happens is you'll be getting an production ready optimized build. Okay, now this build is ready. Once this build is ready, what you're going to do, you will just keep this build in any of the server or any of the cloud environment. Just you will be uh, posting or copying this folder or uploading this folder in the environments and your application will be ready to use. Fine. Now what I'm trying to do is, so let me install npm i serve. Okay, I'm installing serve. So now what I'm doing is I'm running this build folder code. I want to run this build folder code. So serve hyphen s build. So this is a command. Okay, serve hyphen s build. Means what I'm doing is I'm running the application from the build folder code, not from the main folder code, build folder code I'm running. Okay, it means I'm replicating the same, how you are going to deploy in the production environment and how the users are could able to see the code in the production environment, the same thing I'm doing. I'm running the build, I'm running the application from the build folder. Yes, it is ready, it is available in the localhost 3000. So let me go back. So here you can see, uh, let me refresh it once again. So now, did are you able to see the code? No, right? So the main part was removed. But if you go to the static in the .js JS file folder, see, still our build folder, if you build your folder and if you deploy in any of the cloud environment, see, still you could able to access and your component is visible. You can copy paste your components. You can see your business logic. It means you're exposing your business logic and the components to outer world. So this is not good. So this is what we need to hide. Okay, let me show you how to hide this, clear? So before that, I need to explain you why this code is shown. Okay, you built your code, right? 
once you build your code what happens is in the build folder in the static folder in the js folder you will be getting map files so these map files are responsible for showing our code in the browser who generated these map files means the babel and the webpack babel and webpack are responsible in generating these map files so because of these map files only our code is being exposed in the production environment like this in the static folders like this it is exposed okay fine if you remove these map files and deploy the build folder once again you can't see the code you can't see the code okay but deleting these map files every time and again deploying this is a manual activity instead of that what we can do i will show you two methods the first method is in the root folder i am creating one file called .env i am creating an environment folder in which .env file this is in which i am writing generate so let me keep it this as a caps generate underscore source map source map is equal to false so this is what you need to write okay you need to say source map generate source map is false okay let me stop this once okay let me rebuild it again now i'm rebuilding it again i'm saying that i want to generate source map i i am saying that i don't want source map map files i am i'm no need of these map files because as i explained these map files are responsible for showing the code in the browser what we are doing is while building the code i am saying that not to generate these map files if you are not generating these map files what happens that code exposing we are exposing that code right that code will not be available in the browser so that is what we are doing so let's build this once again so let me build this once again i'm doing npm run build okay i'm building it once again so once it is built let's verify whether the map files are generated or not okay the dot env file should be at the root level okay once uh, this is built the build folder was built now let's see in the build folder in the static in the dot js see are you able to see the map files now no because you said generate source map files as false in the environment file that is the reason map files are not generated fine so now what we do let's run this code okay i'm again running the code which is present in the build folder so now let me run the same code yes it is running in the localhost 3000 let me go back and let me refresh this so once i refresh this so i'm clearing everything so if i go to static and dot js see are you able to see any of the code are you, are you able to see any of the code exposed in the browser our components our business logic no right so it was bundled and it is only giving the main.js file here you can't have the readable format okay so this is the one way so now what we did we could now we could successfully able to hide the components and the business logic code in the environment in the browser clear so now what is the second way means so let's go back and let me stop this Okay, let me clear it once again so now the second way is so let me remove this uh, one env file okay so the next way let me show the second way you need to go to the package.json file while you are building the code you need to run one command so this is uh, my mac environment so i will be running one command but that will be varied to the uh, linux commands uh, window commands so what i will do the same command generate underscore source map source map so generate underscore source map is equal to false okay this is what i do so this is the second way you can go with neither of the one okay so now what i'm doing i'm doing npm run build again i'm building the code again the build code would be executed okay no uh, sorry it was given false okay now again i'm running npm run build now what happens again the build folder would be executed and now you'll be get, you'll be getting a build folder so the output would be the same you can't see that but this is the second way you can give this command in the build folder in the package.json or else you can create the env file and there also you can keep this command output would be the same now if you go back to the build folder so each time when you build it again again this folder would be reconstructed re i mean all the content would be reconstructed okay now here also you can't see the map files it means in the browser also you can't see okay fine 
Now let me run it once again and I will show you serve hyphen build. I'm running it once again. Yes, I will go back here the browser and I will refresh this. So the second way is also we have seen. So if you go to the static.js, so not all the exposed, not even any component is exposed here. Everything is bundled in a single file. So this is how we need to hide our application, our React.js code in the production environment. Anyhow, it would be available in the local environment and it should be available in the local environment for our better debugging and better understanding of the code. Okay, hope you understand the video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos. And our channel is like uh, we have a rethinking UI channel where you can have a number of content related to the React.js, JavaScript, and front end stuff. So have a look at it. So please subscribe for more videos.